Good afternoon. Welcome to the summer workshop on plasma physics. I am Swarni. So today we are with our 14th lecture and it is Sagdeep's pseudo potential method. Sagdeep was a, or is a Russian uh, physicist. Is him Sagdeep? Let's see. Well, it's Sagdeep. Royal Sagdeep, and uh, at present he lives in USA. And you can get his bio in Wikipedia. Now, Sagdeep pseudo potential method, as we can see, that it is a approach of the pseudo potential technique, in which you give a transformation and convert your potential that is phi we often use into a variable and if get a potential psi which is dependent on phi. Now depending upon this psi potential, new potential psi, we get a we get a relation like this and uh, with this kind of transformation and we can just predict are double layers or solitary structures or shock waves uh, from that uh, pseudo potential expression. Now, as I have done previously, let me give you an example and that will be very clear to you. Well, it is one of our papers, and uh, it is my student, Ravnit Gill, who carried out the work, and it was her MSc project. So these are the electrons and ions equations of continuity and equation of motion that is momentum equation and the Poinsot equation these are normalized. So we have carried out these normalizations as we have done in previous cases and got this normalized set of equations. Now we have to give a transformation. Now we just make this transformation psi is equal to x minus mt. And with this transformation, we substitute this del del t, del del xi, all these things. And get a, an expression of phi from the Poinsot's equation, provided that the boundary conditions as xi tends to infinity on both sides, plus minus infinity, phi tends to 0 and any tends to 1. Why? Suppose you have a solitary, let me go back. Suppose you have a solitary profile. Suppose you have a solitary profile and uh, let's start with another uh, of our work and uh, well It's one of our IGPAP papers and suppose this is the potential or uh, solitary structures. Now as here instead of xi it is written eta here. Suppose as we move from either side of 0 that is plus infinity and minus infinity we find that the solitary profile loses its solitary nature and is almost flat. Taking this into consideration that means as xi tends to infinity, phi tends to 0 and therefore the perturbations, the density perturbations, if there were any intensity perturbations, as we move away from the point of disturbance, thus those perturbations will be negligible. So coming to this paper again, so you see as one moves from uh, towards xi ending to plus minus infinity, phi tends to 0 and Ne, that is the uh, electron density, uh, tends to 1, that is it attains its equilibrium value. With such a condition and from the same for the ionic momentum we also get this kind of uh, expression with these conditions, the same kind of conditions and obtain an expression with Vi. Now, let me minimize this. Okay. And so from here we get phi in terms of electron density 
and here also we get phi in terms of uh, for ions we have taken the uh, or the uh, expression in terms of phi. Now from the continuity equation of electrons uh, ions since we are studying the ion acoustic wave we get an expression like this you have already solved it v minus u0 omega k you have solved uh, those equations there but since we have given that transformation we get a uh, density of uh, uh, velocity of ions in terms of density so substituting these two expressions in the Ponzo's equation we get phi in terms of ni okay now we employ this quasi neutrality condition there may be some different aspects as well where uh, quasi neutrality apart from quasi neutrality some other conditions may be used as closure property so ion density electron density is equal to the equilibrium particle density this is the quasi neutrality condition and substitute this z is equal to root over n that is root over n i n e so this from these two equations and the previous equations with such a substitution z is equal to root over n we get an expression of z and xi a differential equation of z and xi now we have to integrate it multiply both side with del z del xi and with the boundary condition that is n del 2 n del xi 2 and del n del xi goes to 0 as n tends to 0 you get an expression like this in terms of density so this u is the pseudo potential now in many articles you will find that there is a relation between phi the coulomb potential and u that is del phi del xi is equal to u of phi so that is also another form of active pseudo potential so from this pseudo potential if we plot it we get this kind of solid uh, this kind of plot suppose these are the two minima so this is zero and these are the two minima if i put a line here so this means this is a potential well kind of structure so there you will find solitary waves let me refer to this article by agbery okay generalized active potential theory for shock waves modeling now come to these things we have carried out the same thing here you see he had got this phi and xi so you can follow this paper also those who are waiting so you get a plot of v of phi versus phi so these are this is a potential well kind of thing and here you have got exponentially energy draining okay now trapping can happen now when you get phi that is a potential in terms of xi and you take the first derivative that is del phi del xi so that is equivalent to momentum so it is equal to the position and momentum and this is a phase space plot you see here the curve is gradually inward that is it is stable so if it is unstable it would move outward okay now shock waves profiles are here given so you can also plot a well, from here if it moves like this the phase space that means it's gaining in energy so it's a unstable case and for a decaying case that is when uh, suppose the motion starts from here to here inward that means uh, it's a damping kind of thing inward spider now you can just get this reference so i will give you some articles by this uh, faculties so you can just start you see from this paper these are the differential equations get this normalized and linear waves they have studied the linear dispersion equation much like our expression that we did in the previous one and here they have arbitrary amplitude well now what is arbitrary amplitude you see while dealing with the kdb equation we studied solitons with small amplitude now when the amplitude is very high non-linear effects come in so that is known as large amplitude or arbitrary amplitude solitons so for that kdb's equation is not suitable we try the sagdiv pseudo potential method and we get any terms of any and phi get related like this similarly we get a expression like this 
uh, in terms of uh, that is the density root over n they have also taken root over n as a z i think oh they have taken 1 plus 2 phi as z they have just carried out the substitution so they get a sagdiv suitability here you see you have this uh, expression as phi and psi initially we plotted n and psi that was one of the form this is another form so there you get a plot like this and when you they have carried out well they have carried out the discussions for the Mach number versus td yes they have plot the pseudo potential and you see this is a these are the as i said this is a potential well will show what will show solitary structures so corresponding solitary structures are these things okay so here there is very small change in the solitary profile hey in the sagdiv potential profile so there is also small change in the solitary profile so you can just study like this here there are huge changes you see huge changes with variation with m that is mach number that is wave velocity here also you get a huge change in the solitary profile so i will sub supply with uh, some of these freely available articles and uh, you just carry out thank you